quietly just come into your space for your practice. Repeating the mantra eight times, inhale your hands to heart center. Let's begin. Take a breath in. Om Shreem Hreem Hreem I'm Vajra Vairo Chaniye Hum Hum Fat Swaha Om Shreem Hreem Hreem I'm Vajra Vairo Chaniye Hum Hum Fat Swaha Om Shreem Hreem Hreem I'm Vajra Vairo Chaniye Hum Hum Fat Swaha Om Shreem Hreem Hreem I'm Vajra Vairo Chaniye Hum Hum Fat Swaha Om Shreem Hreem Hreem I'm Vajra Vairo Chaniye Hum Hum Fat Swaha Om Shreem Hreem Hreem I'm Vajra Vairo Chaniye Hum Hum Fat Swaha Om Shreem Hreem Hreem I'm Vajra Vairo Chaniye Hum Hum Fat Swaha Om Shreem Hreem Hreem I'm Vajra Vairo Chaniye Hum Hum Fat Swaha Last one Om Shreem Hreem Hreem I'm Vajra Vairo Chaniye Hum Hum Fat Swaha and sit quietly here. And take a breath in, exhale, release the pose. So let's all meet on the mat if you're not yet there in a seated position. So today we're going to play around with energy and breath. And one of the ways we do that is we're going to start with a short pranayama practice in the beginning. Now this is very interesting because some of you have already done your cardio. So you're ready to sit. Your energy is in such a place that you're ready to focus and sit. So that's great. But for others, you haven't done your cardio yet. You haven't stretched out the muscles and joints. So you are moaning and groaning right now. And that's also an incredible opportunity to take all that energy that is waiting to be released. And usually you release it in, in movement and cardio. And let's see if we can manifest that energy into really beautiful focus and concentration and stillness. Because you're still going to use that energy. We're just changing it into another direction. And here again is another way to keep our mind really nice and agile. So. Finding a nice, comfortable seated position. And remember, if you're not loosened up yet, use props underneath your hips or your ankles or your, your thighs. That's perfectly fine. Close the eyes. Hands are gently resting on our knees or in a mudra that you enjoy. <coughs> I'll mind the time. Sama Vritti breath. Remember that's equal inhale, equal exhale. Go ahead and start. Thank you. 
All right, beautiful, six minutes. All right, go ahead. Shake out your legs, do a few spinal twists if you need to, and then join us for the next segment when you're ready. All right, so take your time. If you need some movement, go ahead, do some movement. The next six minutes is going to be Kapalbhati breath to fire up the energy or bellows breath. You choose which one. I'm gonna start timing now, but you join me when you're ready.
And take your last exhale here. Let's just stay here for two minutes. Breathe normal through both nostrils. Let's take this time to balance out the energy that we just energized. Taking the time now to balance out the energy is going to be very beneficial to the asana practice which follows. And inhale, exhale, release the pose. Let's come into child's pose with our knees as wide as the mat as possible. Arms are extended overhead. Let's really stretch out and length out, lengthen the spine. Hold here. Coming out of the pose, lift the head, lengthen the back, inhale, slide the hands back towards the center of the body. We're sitting on our heels. Okay, let's use that beautiful focus in our breath as we find movement here. As I exhale for four counts, I slide my hands forward. I come into child's pose. I inhale for four counts. I slide the hands back and I'm sitting on my heels. All right, sitting up straight, let's begin. Take a breath in, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, 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 two, three, four. And stay here. Coming into tabletop. Cow and cat, four counts also. Let's begin looking up. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Coming to neutral tabletop. Curl the toes under. Getting ready for downward facing dog. Same thing. We're going to inhale and exhale. Coming up and down. I think I'll do it on a five count to give us a little bit more time. 
Let's stay here and begin for inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, downward facing dog. Four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, last one, stay here. Then you're downward facing dog. Keep your shoulders where they are, keep the ankle open. We're gonna come up onto our toes. As we inhale for five counts, let's begin. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, lower the heels. Four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale. Gently come down to your knees, child's pose. Exhale into it. Hold here. Inhale up to tabletop. Exhale and extend both legs into plank. Holding here. Left leg, inhale, float it up above the mat. And exhale, release. We'll do it on a four count. Right leg now, ready? Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Left leg, inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Change, inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. 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 Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two. Three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. And exhale. And release to child's pose. Inhale back to neutral tabletop. Threading the needle. Right arm first. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, let's thread the needle and hold here.
Coming out of the pose, inhale, come back to neutral tabletop, left side. Inhale the left arm up, exhale, thread the needle and hold. Coming out of the pose, inhale, let's come right back to the neutral tabletop, cross your ankles behind you, and then let's just sit back, and we end up in a nice, easy sitting pose. Another spinal twist, take the left hand to the right knee, inhale the right arm up, square off, exhale, find the twist to the right. Exhale again, gently bring the right arm behind you, bring the shoulders behind, and find your twist. Lengthen the spine. The twist is only as beneficial as we have a nice long spine to our capacity today. Coming out of the pose, inhale the right arm up behind you. Exhale, come back to center, release the right hand. Right hand comes to left knee, inhale the left arm up. Lengthen the spine, bring those shoulders in line with one another. Exhale, find the twist. If you found your right shoulder coming forward, bring it back. Exhale, release the left hand, and you're in your twist. Relax the knees, relax the hips. Coming out of the pose, inhale the left arm up. Exhale, come back to center and release. Okay, if you have your blocks or a cushion, bring it near your mat. We may need it in a little bit. From your seated position, go ahead and roll up forward, back into a neutral tabletop. So neutral tabletop, sit back onto your heels. Vajrasana, let's stay here. It's a wonderful pose to energize and relax the lower legs. Really nice for opening up the ankle joint also. All right, we're all sitting in Vajrasana. Let's begin. Inhale, go ahead, bring the buttocks off the heels. We're now standing on our knees. Hands come to the waist. Release the right foot as you inhale and place it forward. So we're getting ready for a nice lunge. Hands stay on the waist. Let's do a five count. As I inhale, I'll come forward. Or no, let's see. Exhale, I'll come forward. Inhale, I'll come back. All right? So exhale is when we come forward into the lunge. So we're starting in a neutral position. Let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, lunge. Four, 
five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last one. Inhale, come back to center. Release the hands to the mat. One hand on either side of the front foot. Now as I exhale, I lengthening the hamstring of the front leg. So inhale, I'm here in the neutral starting point. Exhale, I lift the right toes and lengthen the back of the leg, all right? Five counts, so start in the neutral starting position and hold here for inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Five. Inhale. And now as we exhale, let's see if we can bring the butt a little closer to that back heel. And let's continue like this now. Inhale up. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Let's lower down a little bit more. Inhale up. Four, five. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, come up. On your exhale, let's see if we can bring the buttocks right onto the heel. And inhale up, two, three, four, five. Exhale, down. Inhale, come up. Let's hold here. Take your right hand, bring it next to the left on the inside of your right foot. Take your right foot to the outside of the mat. And let's see if we can bring our elbows down to the mat. So that means we have to open up that left hip flexor. All right? And then come down. So here, it's nice to use a block if you can't come all the way down. Let's hold here. Coming out of the pose, go ahead, come back out, come back into a more of a neutral lunge, bringing that right foot back towards the center line of the mat. And let's switch sides. Bring up the right foot, bring it back behind you so you're standing on both knees. Inhale, bring the left foot in front, hands to the hips. This time, inhale is here at neutral position. And as we exhale, we're opening up the right hip flexor. Try and keep your hips square as we do these movements. Let's begin in the neutral position. This is inhale. Let's begin. Inhale, two, three, Four, five, exhale, lunge. Four, five. Inhale, two, <clears throat> three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, 
three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, and exhale. Stay here, release the hands down to the mat. This is our neutral position where we inhale. As we exhale, I lengthen the left leg, lift the toes up, but my butt is still over my knee to begin with, all right? Let's begin in the starting position. In the lunge, hands are on either side of the left leg. Stay here and inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. And exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. And now let's begin the other one where I exhale as I come back and slowly, gradually, I keep lowering the buttocks until I'm all the way down on the heel. All right, so let's begin in neutral position, facing forward. Stay here and inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, and exhale, inhale back up, stay here, let's take that left arm, left hand inside, the left foot, take the left foot out to the outside of the mat, See if we can lengthen through the hip flexor here on the right side and bring our elbows down. Of course, ideally we want the hips square. Uh, that's not always possible. I know for me it's not, so I'm a little cockeyed, but I'm feeling the lengthening and the stretching through the joints, through the hip flexor, so that's what I want. Oh, here, a few breaths. And inhale, let's come back out. Let's bring the left foot back to the midline of the, of the mat. Hands are on either side. From here, go ahead, lean back, and let's free up that left foot and bring it back to the be in line with the right knee. We're standing on our knees. Exhale, sit down, look at Vajrasana once more. This time, knees are together, child's pose. Take a breath in, and exhale, pop. Child's pose. Let's stay here. This is a really great massage for the internal organs. So let's hold this for a bit. Coming out of the pose, right into neutral tabletop. Inhale, lift up into neutral tabletop, cross the ankles once more. And as you exhale, 
push back and sit right onto your seat bones. We're back in Sukhasana. From here, release the ankles coming into butterfly pose. Hold here, allowing the hips to open in this direction now. And stay here. Nice, easy breath. Coming out of the pose, exhale right into Dandasana, stack pose, releasing the arms extended overhead. As you exhale, extend legs, extend arms. We're in Dandasana. Hold here for eight counts. Relax the legs. Extend the back. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Releasing the pose. Take a breath in. Exhale and release. Okay, we're working or focusing on the lengthening the hamstring right now. So coming into Janasurasana or head to knee pose, you can do it the traditional way where we bring the right knee up and the right knee comes out and is to the outside. But what I'd like you to experiment is, you know what this feels like? How do you like this one? Where we bring the right knee forward and the foot back. So kind of play with that and see which one you like. Get in position. We'll hold this pose for four count or four minutes. If you want to use your block or your cushion to help you, just give you a little bit of support while we're holding the pose. Sitting up nice and straight. Hands are on either side of the left knee. Coming down halfway. Take a breath in. And exhale, come down halfway, and let's hold here for one minute. Exhale, come down one fourth of the way, a little bit more. Slow the breath down. Bring your focus to every mindful inhale and exhale. And let's exhale down once more into the full expression today. If distracting thoughts come in and out of the brain, no big deal, just let them go. Practice being a neutral observer and bring your focus, that internal focus to what you're doing right now. Be very mindful of our movements and our breath.
Inhale, let's come up halfway again. Slowly making our way out of the pose. And coming out completely with the head, lengthen the back, inhale, draw the hands towards the body, and we're sitting up straight. Let's switch sides, we'll do it again on the other side. Again, choose where you want your knee, whether it's out to the side or behind you. Hands are on either side of the knee, roll the shoulders back. Look down your extended leg, the knee is pointing up, the toes are pointing up. Both seat bones are equally as best you can on the mat. Let's begin. Take a breath in and exhale, come down halfway. Exhale, come down a little bit further. Stay here with your practice, trying to enjoy each breath you take. And then letting it go and starting all over again. Exhale, release to your full expression today. Inhale, gently come up halfway.
Slowly come in out of the pose, lift the head, lengthen the back. Inhale, let's slide the hands back towards the center. So we have nice and straight. Coming into supine position, knee to chest, and roll from side to side. So go ahead, stay like this. You can come to center or keep rolling. So for the people that are into studying the chakras or any kind of a chakra practice, the forward fold that we just did, open the first chakra, the Muladhara chakra and the second chakra. So those are opening positions, the forward fold. Now, as we lay on our back, we're bringing that energy that we just opened and awakened, we're bringing it into balance. And if we were to do a back bend, we would be, you're never really closing off the energy, but you're bringing a little bit more balance to the energy center. All right, let's come to the middle, let's stay here. Deepen the pose, lengthen the back. And before we move on, let's go ahead and do another spinal twist. So release the hands to the outside, palms up. Let's bring the knees over the hips. On your next exhale, knees float to the right, you look to the left. Again, here you can choose what you want to do. You can stay right here, however you ended up, and just relax. Or you can move your left arm up and down to open up to the pectorals. Or if you feel that your hips are not stacked on top of one another, take a look down. See if your knees are on top of one another. If not, bring them into alignment and then open up through the arms, the shoulder girdle, and the pectoral. And see how you find release of tension through the back, the waist, and the hips here. So there's many different ways you can approach these poses. Coming out of the pose, take a breath in, exhale, contract, tilt, smoke the knees to center, continue the exhale to the other side. Remember, you also get a different sensation if you keep your heels closer to the buttocks or at 90 degree angles with the knee. You'll notice a different sensation in the lower back and the hips.
All together, coming out of the pose, take a breath in. Exhale, contract toe, float the knees to center. Hands to the knees, deep in the pose. Exhale, coming into Dandasana, arms extended overhead. Exhale, release the pose. Let's come into the middle of your mat, facing one of the long sides. Go ahead, sit in Vajrasana on your knees. Lengthening through the spine, but not overarching the back. Okay, we're going to roll into a nice low squat. So hands come forward, take the toes underneath, roll back, and let's come into a squat. Now, if you can't get your heels down, go ahead and widen your stance until you can. Or you can put a, a rolled up towel underneath your heels. Arms forward, tuck the chin around the back. Inhale, look up so you can see the screen. My hands are going to come down to the floor in front of me. I shift my weight to the left leg and I extend my right leg out with the knee and the toes pointing up. All right, so you can meet me in this position. Now for some of you, the left heel is going to be on the ground. Mine is not, but that is the goal. Coming back to the low squat, I use my hands for balance. I take that right foot, I bring it down to the mat, I slide it in, shift the weight to center, and I'm back in my low squat. Opposite side, take your hands to the mat, shift the weight to the right leg so you can free up the left leg. I extend it out, and then I turn so that my left knee and left toes are pointing up. I sit back as much as I can and keep my balance so I feel a nice lengthening through that inner thigh. Inhale, come back to squat. Exhale, sit in your squat. Shift the weight to the left leg, free up the right. Try and sit back here. Sit back onto your heel. Again, you can use your hands as a counterweight if you need to. Feel that lengthening through the inner thigh. Inhale, let's come back to a low squat. Exhale, sitting in low squat. One more time, each side, shift the weight to the right leg. Extend the left, sit back. Feel that lengthening. Inhale, bring the left leg back. Exhale, into low squat. Last one, shift the weight to the left leg, open up the right, sit back, feel the lengthening. Inhale, come back to low squat. Exhale, extend the arms, tuck the head, round the back. Release the hands to the floor in front of you. Inhale, forward fold, so the hips come up. The head comes down, we're in a nice forward fold. Let's hold here. Rising up, lift the head, length at the back, inhale the arms up. Arms extended up and exhale down. Let's come to Tadasana at the top of the mat. 
Coming into Parsvo Konasana. Shift the weight to the left leg. Inhale the right knee up in front of your right hip. This time we're going to step back, maybe three feet, but the right foot and the right toes are still pointing forward. So as you exhale, you step back. Maybe three feet, both feet are pointing forward. Go ahead and square the hips. Inhale the arms up. All right, this is a forward fold. As you come down, the hips stay square. Try not to hyperextend the left knee and keep equal weight on the front foot and the back foot. So go down slowly. Inhale the arms up and exhale, let's come down. Every inch that you come down, you have to make little adjustments. Keep extending the back. And as you come lower and lower, go ahead, release the hands down. Maybe you need a block here for your hands. Square your hip once more. Watch that left knee. Exhale, tuck the chin and bring it down towards the shin. Let's hold here. Inhale, lift the head, lengthen the back. Exhale, release the head back down towards the shin. Repeating, inhale, lift the head, lengthen the back. Exhale, release down. One more time, inhale, look up, lengthen the back. And exhale, release. Inhale, look up, lengthen the back. Very carefully and gently, we're going to release the back foot behind us so we can come down to our knee. We're in a lunge here. Coming into the splits, you may want to have a block or a cushion to put underneath your leg as you like. Exhale, let's come down into the splits here. Let's see if we can do a little forward fold over that front leg. We'll stay here long. Inhale, let's come up. Let's see if we come back to a lunge. Hands are on either side of the front foot. Curl the toes under of the back leg. Lift that back knee up. Let's come to a forward fold in the front. So you're going to step forward or jump the foot forward until it meets the right foot. Exhale into forward fold. Inhale, rise up as you like. Extend the arms up high, look at your hands. Exhale, release the hands down to your sides. Repeating on the opposite side. Shift the weight to the right leg, lift the left knee up in front of the left hip. Stepping back about three feet as you exhale. As you step back, remember the left toes and heel are still facing forward. Square the hips. Exterior rotation of the hips, both legs. Protect the right knee, inhale the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, take your time. Keep squaring off. Making those little adjustments as you go down. Lengthening the back. As you get nearer the mat, go ahead, release the hands. 
Exhale again, tucking the chin and releasing the head towards the knee or the shin. Let's hold here. Check your position. Inhale, look up, lengthen the back. Exhale, release back down. Inhale, look up, lengthen. And exhale, tuck the head and chin back. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, release. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, release. Let's do it one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Bend the front knee slightly so that you can slide the left leg behind you. Bring the left knee down. We're in a nice lunge. And again, using a block or a cushion. Exhale, let's slide down into the splits here. Exhale, forward fold over that front leg. And inhale, let's come back up. Coming back into our lunge. I just came completely out to do that. Bring it, take it my time back into my lunge. Okay, we're all meeting in the lunge. Hands come on either side of the front foot. Take the back toe, curl it under, lift up. Keeping your hands on the mat. Inhale, step the left foot forward. Exhale into forward fold. And inhale, rise up as you like. Send the arms up high. And exhale, hands come down to your sides. Release the pose. Let's come back down to the mat, supine position. Let's do another variation of the spinal twist. Arms are extended out to the side. Left leg stays where it is. Using a pelvic tilt, go ahead on your own. Float the right knee above the right hip. In this position, we'll do a spinal twist to the left. Take a breath in, and exhale, spinal twist. This works best if you can keep the left leg that is extended as straight as possible. Again, without hyperextending the knee or contracting the muscles very much. Just keep it relaxed and straight. There remains a slight ankle flexion in the left leg. Coming out of the pose, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, tilt, float the knee to center. With control, switch legs.
And then next, exhale. Float the right knee towards the right. We look to the left. Now, if your right knee doesn't come down to the floor, no big deal. I just put a block underneath it so it can rest. I have a nice support there. Then I get a nice spinal twist. I feel the lengthening through the back. Coming out of the pose, take a breath in, exhale, contract, tilt, and let's float the knee to center. On your next exhale, using a pelvic tilt, float the right knee to meet the left over the hips. Knees are over the hips, we're nice and relaxed. On your next exhale, extend the legs up towards the sky. Flex the ankle, tag. If you're feeling any tension in that lower back, go ahead and put your hands underneath your buttocks. Moving on, exhale, bend both knees towards the chest, hands to knees, deep in the pose. Exhale, roll up into Dandasana, arms extended up high. Exhale, release the hands down. Okay, you have a choice. You can come into alternate nostril breath right now if, if you feel that's where you want to go. If you want to explore the splits a little bit longer, because sometimes the first time we do it, it's a shock. It's like, oh crap. So now the second time we're a little more relaxed and we can go into it. So I'm going to let you choose what you want to do for the next six minutes, all right? You can come into your splits or you can practice alternate nostril breath. I'll time us, don't worry. Maybe you want to explore a little bit slower.
As you do an alternate nostril breathing, finish your cycle on the left side, then lower the right hand and let's just breathe through both nostrils. And release the pose, come into Savasana. I'll go through the 61 points with you as you're in Savasana. You simply let your mind be nice and agile as it moves from point to point. point. It doesn't stay there, it just does this light focus and then moves on, moves on, moves on. So you lay down in Savasana and I'll walk you through it. You're in Savasana, laying down. Hands are by your sides, palms up. Take a few breaths. Just imagine the body melting into the mat. Feel the weight of the heels. As you exhale, allow the hips to roll out. Feel the weight of the buttocks and the lower back onto the mat. As you exhale, release the rib cage, letting it fall wide and down into the mat. Feel that same surrender through the shoulders, down the arms to the hands. Let go of any awareness of the neck and simply feel the weight of the head against the mat. Gently bring your focus to the eyebrows, between the eyebrows, bottom of the throat, heart center, left shoulder, right shoulder, right elbow, right thumb, Point your finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky, right wrist, right elbow, right shoulder, middle of the chest, left shoulder, left elbow, left wrist, left thumb, pointer, middle, ring, pinky finger, left wrist, left elbow, Left shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder, middle of the chest, heart center, navel, pelvis, right thigh, right knee, right ankle, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, <coughs> right ankle, right knee, right thigh, pelvis, left thigh, left knee, left ankle, left toe, second, <coughs> third, fourth, fifth, left ankle, left knee, left thigh, pelvis, navel, heart center, bottom of the throat, between the eyebrows. Hold the focus between the eyebrows. Stay there. Gently bring both hands 
to rest on top of your heart center. Feeling the bridge of focus between the heart center and between the eyebrows, Anahata Chakra and Ajna Chakra. Hold the focus there in those two places. And on your next exhale, release the hands to your side. Let's change the focus now, bringing the focus to movement of the body. As you begin to wiggle the toes, flex the ankles, flex the fingers and rotate the wrists. Begin to contract the thighs as you flex the knees. Contract the biceps as you flex the elbows and then extend them. Finding some movement perhaps in the hips and the shoulders. Gently moving the head from one side to the other. On your next exhale, roll to your right hand side and then push up to a seated position. Inhale your hands to heart center. Turn the pranavon one time, taking a breath in. Oh. within and inhale come up eyes are open we're in full awareness namaste thank you everyone thanks for a good practice have a good day thank you corinne yep it's good to see you Anne. thank you corinne thanks mia good to see you guys good to see you